Hey everyone, this video is going to show you how to remove the background from a video you have taken. So what's nice about this is the site we're going to use will create this video into a GIF without any background behind it. So I'm going to show how to add this to a Google Doc and a slides for today's video. So the site we're going to use is something called unscreen.com. If you just go to unscreen.com, very simple, free, does not require me to log in. There is an upgraded version, um, but for what we're going to do today, you don't need the upgraded version. So if you have a video, um, what I did is I videoed on my cell phone, emailed it to myself, and then I had it uh, saved on my computer. So now I can go into my files and I did too. I did a pointing video um, and then I took a video of my son and so all I have to do is take this video from my son and move it over here, just drag and drop it in. And it completely removed the background. So while it's doing that, I just want to show you, this is what the original video looked like. Okay. So it had all, you know, we were in our house, had all the background. But now when I put it in here, you see it looks like this. So all I have to do is select download and it will download to my laptop. So once it does that, I'm able to come over to um, my Google Slides or my Google Doc and I can have my files open and I can take this and just drag and drop it right into my slides. So now I have um, a GIF of my son without the background uh, doing the floss in my Bitmoji scene here. I can also come into my Google Doc and I can do the same thing. Take this video and pop them in here and I can resize. And now I have the video as a GIF in my Google Doc. So it's just a nice little fun way to quickly make videos without background in them. See it downloaded to my uh, laptop here. I had already previously done this once, so I already had it ready to go. And I want to go back to the beginning. If I don't want to drag and drop, I could actually just click upload clip. And I can come to my videos and I can find my pointing video and open that one and add that in there. And so now it took out the background of me pointing. And I'm going to show what that video looked like originally so you can see what the background looked like. The one thing I want to recommend is when you do create the video to try to be against um, some kind of more solid background. So when I did the, son, the video of my son, um, we were, you know, with the white door behind him. When I did my video, I had um, a gray wall behind me. So it doesn't have to be, but sometimes it might mistake some of the colors if you're wearing a certain color shirt and the, your background, some of the background is blends in with that color. So now, just like before, I would download this and it'll end up downloading to my Chrome bar. So once it's downloaded down here, same thing. Um, what I like about the pointing video is if I had maybe, um, I don't know, on this one, instructions that I wanted them to read, I could uh, drag and drop myself into here and, of course, resize myself. But I could easily emphasize that they need to do something by pointing to. It's just a fun way to draw attention to something on the slides presentation. I hope you like using Unscreen. It's a great way to make a GIF.